es común Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es Como se lo mami contra la pared No me dice nada y todo se le ve El perreo no se acaba hasta las tres Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es Como se lo mami contra la pared No me dice nada y todo se le ve El perreo no se acaba hasta las tres Hey girl, we are back with the sensational What Lace Wig. Today's unit is called Zayla, and she's in the color 1B. Y'all have been kicking my butt about reviewing this unit, y'all. This unit, I wore it here on my TDD I Try On Haul, and also my Fashion Nova Haul. So this is the same unit. I'm here, I'm back, I'm ready. So I actually had to buy it again because I wore the heck out of the first unit. So here it is. I'm unboxing her, okay? I'm bossing her, and this is what she's giving us. Now, she kind of tangled straight out the package for me, so I was like, ooh, red flag sensational. Red flag or what? So, <laughs> I was just kidding, y'all. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my head for the first time, and let's, come on, let's just give sensational a round of applause because, like, baby, this unit is popping. Now, she is a little bit shiny, and I'm not sure if that's due to the lighting because literally in the other two videos, this unit didn't look as light in the first wig I purchased. So, I don't know. It just could be my lighting situation. But it is giving shiny, okay? This is the lace area. This is the hairline. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Although the lace is transparent, it does have a white tint to it. So, I have to add some cream foundation underneath the lace. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the access the lace um, just so we can install the wig. You don't ever wanna leave your lace on your unit, you know? Some people don't get that memo, some people do. And like I said, it is up to you how much lace you would like to leave, but I don't like to leave a lot at all because no. But anyway, I'm just cut creating jagged edges as well. I'm not cutting at a straight line or angle. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and install the unit using my got to be glue hairspray, okay? This spray can be found all over the place, Walmart, Target, wherever. You can even buy it off Amazon. Um, I, the only place I know they don't sell it at is Target. I mean, um, Sally's. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I sprayed a decent amount and I'm waiting to it's tacky. And the blow dryer setting is always on a cool setting because it slows the drying time down. If you have it on hot, I feel like it just dries completely too quick and it's gonna not adhere to the lace. So I make sure that my dryer is always on a cool seat heating setting. And once it's tacky, I lay it down. I add some more heat and you know, I reinforce it with the end of my comb just so everything can lay it nice and flat. Just like that, y'all, just like that. So while I'm installing this, y'all, I just wanna point out something. I don't know if it's just me or I don't know if it's certain units, but I feel like they changed the, um, the hairline you know what lace was always a what lace unit to me because the way they would go in and pluck the unit i don't know if they're getting a little bit lazy or i don't know if it's just certain units they don't do it on because they want the volume in the unit to be there and they want the hairline to be a little bit more dense but they stop plucking the units if i have some clips i will insert some clips from some older videos that i did with the what the what lace series from sensational and i'm telling you the hairline was top here like nobody can come for me because it was like you cannot tell me this is not my hair because it was so freaking plucked to the gods so <laughs> i'm gonna insert that clip try to put it somewhere in here so you guys can see if i'm tripping or not i might be tripping y'all So off camera, I did let my unit sit underneath my scarf for about 10 to 20 minutes while I grabbed me a snack. But I am deciding today what 
type of part I should do. And I ended up going with the middle part, as you guys saw in the intro. But y'all, look how one thing I commend sensational on is the knots being invisible. But like they're super small, you can't see them. And look at the part. And when you part, it, it's giving straight scalp. It's giving that sis what lace okay besides the the plucking little issue but when you go in to part these units it looks so freaking good So now I'm just going in with my hot comb to lay everything down. This helps me see if I need to fix the part, straighten it up, okay? Because sometimes you can part and be like, oh, it's straight and it'll be really crooked. So just doing this stuff here will help you see where you need to fix it at. So now I'm just going in with some concealer to define the part. I didn't want the part to stand out too much. Sometimes I use a concealer, to, well, most of the time I use a concealer that's a shade lighter than me. So the part can really pop. But today I used the concealer that was my exact uh, shade just so it could, you know, I feel like the unit was a little bit too shiny. So I didn't want a lot going on, a lot of attention towards the top of the lace. Now, like I said, it looks like the knots are already bleached because they're super small. So I'm here for that because like, nobody has time to see the big black dots on the laces but i actually forgot to hot comb my hair before i cut the lace off so i'm just being very careful and going under um going over the wig using my hot comb i don't like to take the curls out or the the curl pattern out of the unit so i don't stress the comb all the way through i just do it towards the root section so it can lay a little bit more flat because as you guys can see it's a lot of dense okay it's very dense up there now I'm just going in to pull out some baby hairs. Y'all know I have to give my unit just a little bit of personality. And I feel like my units are not me if I don't do my baby hairs, y'all. I'm obsessed, okay? Now the unit does already come with a section um, where the baby hairs are and they go. But I pulled it back into the unit. And I clearly forgot to film that whole portion of the video. I guess I was just too excited. So <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and hot comb that back and get ready to create my baby hairs. I do go in with my... I got to be glue gel that is my staple I have been using that all right guys I'm just popping back in because this is pretty much the end of the video but i just want to let you guys know that i love this wig okay um i've worn this wig like i said a million gazillion times like i wore the heck out of it i'm not even gonna cap y'all i wore the heck out of that one so i actually had to order another one to do this review because the other one was worn down torn down i wore it till i couldn't wear it no more you know um so let me just be 100 percent transparent okay y'all this unit was tangling up on me okay it was giving me the run around with the tangles now i love my sensational and i love synthetic and i know how synthetic goes and all that whatnot whatnot but this unit is definitely going to tangle and it's it's more than i would like to be to be completely honest now i'm not saying don't buy the unit at all you know i'm not saying nothing like that but i'm just giving you a disclaimer a beware she's going to tangle okay now as far as shedding um i only got shedding when the unit started napping up towards the end this hair definitely reminds me of like our hair um blowed out and like um wand curled or something like that so the texture and the thickness is amazing but i don't know what was going on with the tangling and the and towards the end this usually it's not even that long but towards the end it started like matting up quickly and when i started brushing towards the end it was just it was just it was just giving me a lot so y'all be aware with this wig like i said i'm not trying to downplay the wig and say it's not good or not like nothing like that like i said before but i just wanted to keep you guys open and just keep it 100 with you guys it's gonna tangle
soy la chía En todos mis pasos la bebí confía Perrea de noche pero va a sentar de día Me dice al DJ que le pongo una de dos No sino un perreito pa' moverlo bien cabrón Que le saca ritmo a cualquier canción Y que tiene un candado y cerrado el corazón Ya, yeah, ya yeah. Anyway, to the diffuse the shine, someone advised that I use dry shampoo. And I don't know if it was just a dry shampoo I was using, but sis, it just actually turned my hair gray. And I was looking like, oh no, baby. So I don't know. I'll probably go to Walmart and get another dry, dry shampoo. But that kind that I was using, it was it smelled good, okay? But it was just not giving what it needed to give as far as dulling the shine out. So that is pretty much it y'all i probably will give this wig a seven and a half out of ten only because it tangled a lot okay i'm not it just tangled a lot so it's a cute unit it's a bomb unit but do beware of the tangling so hope you guys enjoyed the link down <laughs> the link will be down in the description section below if you guys are so interested and until my next video your girl will see you later bye guys <laughs>